Hello everyone, back shooting into Ensembles Watch. So we're going to go through all members of the uh, GFS Ensembles for tonight's uh, third video. We're going to see what they're showing as we move ahead into uh, into March. It actually takes us um, into the second week of uh, March, the extended uh, GFS. So, going to go through all Ensemble members, probably for the final time this season. I think after tonight it will be time to rest on Ensemble's watch uh, for this uh, for this winter. We did it at the end of the winter, of course. Um, so, uh, of course, Ensemble's watch will be back uh, next winter. But for now, I think uh, we give it a bit of a break after tonight. But uh, we're going to go through all Ensemble members within the GFS Ensembles once again, including the operational and parallel uh, GFS run. So sit back and enjoy it. Just to say that we've had two videos so far today before this one. So first video up was our final spring uh, 2019 analogs update. So um, that's quite an interesting watch. It's dealing with Enso, El Nino, uh, and also the Cubio, quasi being on oscillation and also uh, release gas of his sunny rounder of course have a look at those two videos if you would like uh, to do that so the first thing we're going to do for Ensemble's Watch is have a look at the GFS operational run. Uh, so this is what uh, very latest midday run of the GFS operational run we're showing. We're going to start all of the charts on Thursday, which is really when the uh, winter heat wave that we're currently experiencing uh, will be uh, will be going away. So uh, on Thursday, we've got high pressure beginning to decline, beginning to uh, slip away, and then let's carry on. Uh, running through into uh, next weekend. So for a while, high pressure tries to cling on with a GFS operational run into next weekend, but uh, it is weakening all the time as low pressure is developing out in the Atlantic. We do eventually flatten that high pressure off. It looks like we're going to a much more uh, mobile spell of weather here as we move into the uh, following weeks. This takes us to Monday, the 4th of March. Low pressure is right over top of the country then, so looking quite unsettled with heavy rain and fairly strong winds too. Moving up towards day 10, we remain in that flat westerly flow, so still looking quite unsettled, particularly for the north and west with low pressure coming in at fairly regular intervals from off the Atlantic. Uh, we get through to the end of the GFS operational run, and high pressure time to go up ridging back then, but it's centred out to the west, so we're putting down quite a chilly uh, northerly wind up to Tuesday the 12th of March as far as we can go. Right, so let's start going through these ensemble members then. I'm going to start off with the GFS control uh, run. So this is a uh, uh, model run that is um, at, a slightly, uh, high, uh, at a slightly lower resolution compared to the operational GFS run, but a slightly higher resolution compared to all other GFS ensemble members. So it kind of like sits somewhere in the middle in terms of its resolution. Uh, so again, on Thursday, high pressure is declining and uh, we're moving the Atlantic in as we go through into next weekend. Low pressure starts pushing in from off the Atlantic Ocean, looking a lot more mobile, a lot more unsettled as we go through the first week of March. Actually looking quite uh, wet and windy there as we're uh, heading up into the second week of March. I'm putting down a fairly cold uh, northerly wind too. However, we are trying to find our way back to high pressure again. Ridging is developing down to our south. Looks fairly weak though, low pressure around Greenland and Iceland, still the main driver of the weather up to the 12th of March. But uh, certainly very unsettled when trying to get back to high pressure. Ensemble member number one has high pressure declining on Thursday. We're allowing the Atlantic in with ensemble member uh, number one. So we're bringing uh, low pressure in from the west, wet and windy conditions heading into the UK up to day 10. We're under low pressure. Uh, then high pressure is beginning to try and build to our north. So it's having to go out turning things a bit colder, but really it's just these areas of low pressure continuing to drive in from off the Atlantic. That's a very unsettled uh, first half to March with ensemble member number one. Low pressure is very much in control there. Ensemble member number two with low pressure, uh, or high pressure I should say, declining to our southwest at the end of this week and we start to allow uh, low pressure to head in from off the Atlantic so we're turning a good deal more unsettled here as we get towards day 10. Beyond day 10 low pressure becomes the main driver coming in off the Atlantic Ocean looking wet and windy, relatively mild. The winds are driving in from the west, so no problems with temperatures, but uh, much more unsettled compared to what we've been used to recently. 
Ensemble member number three with uh, the high pressure uh, slipping away as we go towards uh, next weekend. Low pressure is moving in from off the Atlantic, becoming much more unsettled, much more mobile pattern setting up as we head into uh, day 10. Beyond day 10, Again, looking unsettled, low pressure is uh, properly driving in off the Atlantic Ocean. So, real changes here through the uh, first half of March, looking uh, much, much more unsettled than what we've been used to recently. Ensemble member number four, again, has that high pressure declining away to our south into next weekend. Low pressure is taking over. Quite stormy there, actually, in around a week's time. Gale force winds and heavy rain. In from off the Atlantic, heading up towards day 10, turning a bit colder. Winds are turning into the north. It's only a brief uh, little cold snap, but it might bring some wintry showers uh, to the north. Then we have a building high pressure to our south. So we're trying to get back into anticyclonic conditions with ensemble member number four. But it's really these areas of low pressure continuing to head in from off the Atlantic. That is the main driver. Ensemble member number five with the high pressure declining away to our south at the end of this coming week uh, and low pressure increasingly moving in from the Atlantic turning things more unsettled and as we get towards day 10 uh, again it's looking quite unsettled particularly to the north and west again we're trying to build some high pressure to the east and this one's having a real go at building high pressure to our south and east but not really going back to the settled conditions we've had over recent days we've got right now uh, and just quite unsettled up to the 12th of March with ensemble member number five ensemble member number six again with low pressure Moving in uh, closer to the UK from off the Atlantic as we go into next weekend. High pressure is easing away. That looks stormy there on Monday the 4th of March. That's a real gale uh, battering the country. Quite strong winds and heavy rain. With that up to day 10, looking very unsettled. Beyond day 10, turning a bit colder. The low pressure starts to die southwards and we begin to pull some colder air in from the northeast. So this one is a colder ensemble member, uh, number six. It would potentially bring the risk of some snow to some parts of the country. Um, so not only much more unsettled with ensemble member number six, also quite a lot cold as well. That's the first properly cold one that we've had so far uh, through the first half of March. Ensemble member number seven, again, that high pressure is beginning to uh, ease away as we go into next weekend, it's turning more and more unsettled as low pressure is driving in from off the Atlantic. Uh, low pressure in control up to day 10, uh, which is the 6th of March. Uh, again, lots of low pressure heading in from the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, we keep these unsettled conditions going into extended range as well. Wet and windy with low pressure regularly pushing through. So this is looking like a real fundamental change in the pattern uh, that the GFS Ensembles wants to deliver us anyway through the first half of March compared to this very dry, high-pressure dominated February. This is Ensemble member number eight and again that high pressure is still there at the end of the week but it's weakening. Low pressure is heading in off the Atlantic, maybe a little bit slower with the low pressure but next weekend is turning more unsettled and then in the extended range it just goes into what we've seen on all the other ensemble members so far which is very unsettled conditions low pressure continue to be in control in more extended range it's building some high pressure up to the south and so that's trying to get us back into anti-cyclonic conditions through the second week of march Ensemble member number nine, again, that uh, high pressure is declining or is trying to decline as we go into next weekend. And low pressure is starting to move in from Atlantic. Again, it's a little bit slow, a little bit delayed moving that low pressure in with ensemble member uh, number nine. We're up to day 10 and it, it's looking more unsettled as we get to and a little bit beyond day 10. Uh, never going too far away about high pressure to our south though, but then in the extended range, looking really unsettled, quite stormy too, of uh, these big areas of low pressure to our north, gale force winds, heavy rain driving in from the Atlantic in the second week of March. Ensemble member number 10 is looking like this, so the high pressure is declining into next weekend. This one is turning us unsettled even as early as next weekend, low pressure 
is coming in from off the Atlantic. Going up to day 10, looking unsettled. Low pressure continues to drive in from the west and in the extended range, we're keeping things pretty unsettled then as well. Starting to turn a bit colder as well as we get through to the 12th of March, just beginning to pull the winds into the northwesterly or possibly even northerly direction. Ensemble member number 11 has the high pressure easing away next weekend. Low pressure is replacing it from off the Atlantic. So... There is a little bit of uncertainty about how quickly you're pushing the Atlantic through, but I think most of these ensemble members, so far anyway, are pushing the Atlantic in next weekend. And then as we go through to the uh, second week of March, looking increasingly unsettled, maybe even a little bit stormy and colder as well. The jet stream's digging southwards. And on the northern side of these areas of low pressure, we are putting in some cold air from the north. So a little bit of wintry potential there into the second week of March with ensemble member number 11. Possibly a little bit of snow even uh, with that one. Ensemble member number 12 has a high pressure easing away uh, next weekend. So again, this is another one that has us unsettled by next weekend with low pressure coming in off the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, up to uh, day 10 and beyond day 10, keep uh, we keep driving those areas of low pressure in from the west as well. So um, that one is unsettled up to the 12th of March. Ensemble member number 13 has the high pressure again just easing away into next weekend being replaced by low pressure, low pressure coming in off the Atlantic, bringing heavy rain. That looks stormy there as we're around the 7th of March, gales or severe gales uh, across the country. And these unsettled conditions stay with us into the extended range as well. So um, that's a really unsettled ensemble member uh, number 13. Number 14, with the high pressure increasingly uh, losing its influence by next weekend, already turning wet and windy across many parts of the country and as we move into the extended uh, range heading up towards day 10, keeping low pressure very close to us. Uh, and we just keep those areas of low pressure battering into the country really from off the Atlantic Ocean right way through to the second week of um, March. That's another unsettled one. Generally quite mild. These are all ways from a west or southwest direction, but certainly very unsettled with ensemble member number 14. Ensemble member number 15. Again, low pressure is uh, well and truly in control. Heavy rain, gale force winds driving in off the country. A little bit of a cold snap there showing up around the 6th of March. Some uh, northerly winds. And this one's doing something different. This one's building high pressure up over Scandinavia and turning winds into the east. So that's the first sort of EC that we've seen in any of these ensemble members. Around the 7th, 8th of March, we're bringing in proper easterly winds there, albeit quite briefly. I mean, low pressure is heading back in from off the Atlantic. So that's unsettled, yes, but it is uh, for a brief period, of just a couple of days, it's bringing in some cold easterly winds around the 6th to the 8th of March. Uh, ensemble member number 16, again with the high pressure just uh, slipping away to our south next weekend. Low pressure replacing it from off the Atlantic. It's looking very unsettled, moving up to day 10, beyond day 10. Very unsettled and quite stormy as well. Into the second week of March, building some high pressure up from the south. So we haven't seen much of this, but um, this is trying to get us back to the pattern we've got right now with high pressure building from the south, turning drier and warmer there with ensemble member number 16 in the second week of March. Ensemble member number 17, again, the low pressure is heading in off the Atlantic over the weekend, next weekend. Wet and windy conditions returning, taking us up to day 10, looking very unsettled and remaining very unsettled as we're moving into the extended range, uh, deep areas of low pressure, bring heavy rain, gale force winds at times. Ensemble member number 17. Ensemble member number 18, again, that high pressure is easing away next weekend. Low pressure is replacing a little bit slower, bringing the low pressure in next weekend with ensemble member number 18, but still more or less uh, with the same idea. Although only a very brief interruption of uh, low pressure. By the time we get through to day 10, this is doing something different because by day 10, it's back into high pressure again, ensemble member 
uh, number 18. And that high pressure continues to sit close to the country then as we're moving into the second week of March. So um, that's a very different one. It's quite a warm ensemble member, brings a lot of dry and warm weather. and only has a couple of days of unsettled westerly winds. And then we're back to the ridge of high pressure again from the south. That's always going to be a possibility that that, uh, that, that could happen, that this so-called unsettled spell that we're expecting finishes up just lasting a day or two, and then we get back to high pressure, because that's been the pattern that we've been in for a very long time. Uh, with high pressure always stronger than the models are anticipating. Uh, this ensemble member number 19, again, we've got these areas of low pressure coming in next weekend, so this one is looking uh, pretty unsettled too. A ridge trying to build there around uh, day 10. Looks like that's going to get flattened off quite quickly, although having said that, it is uh, strengthening that ridge again into the extended range. So this is another one that only, only has a very brief period of unsettled weather in around a week's time, and then very quickly the high pressure is building back up from the south. Uh, finally, our sample member number 20 has uh, high pressure uh, declining next weekend, uh, low pressure trying to head in. Uh, from off the Atlantic Ocean. Rather slower, bringing that low pressure in. Bench it does break through, though, by Monday, the 4th of March. We are into genuinely wet and windy conditions, and these unsettled conditions take us into extreme range. No build of high pressure from the south with ensemble member number 20. We just keep low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic, at least until the very end of this ensemble member, when finally we do start to get a bit of ridging building close to the country. That's a more unsettled one, ensemble member number 20. The last thing we can look at in terms of these charts is the uh, parallel GFS run. So the parallel run will become the main operational GFS. I think it's penciled in uh, to happen on the 20th of March, so not long to go now before the parallel becomes the operational GFS, the new version of the GFS, if you like. So, this is what Parallel Run is showing tonight. Uh, low pressure is uh, moving in from off the Atlantic next weekend. So, it is breaking down the high pressure uh, next weekend, turning unsettled, uh, and low pressure continues to be close to the country as we're moving up towards uh, day 10. In the extended range, again, looking really quite unsettled indeed. More low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. How we go at building a Scandinavian high? doesn't come to anything. We just keep these areas of low pressure heading in. So that's a lot cooler and a lot more unsettled with the parallel uh, GFS run tonight. The last thing we could look at is the ensemble graph. We're going to be looking at Carlisle as that was the uh, last place we looked at today in the Gazza of his Sunday Roundup. So this is what the Jeff Ensembles are showing uh, tonight for Carlisle. Again, we see this big drop in temperature, so we're starting uh, warm, maybe even very warm at the moment. Uh, this is where we are right now. The red line, of course, is the 30-year upper air temperature average. So we are uh, really a long way above average. You're going to be staying there for two or three more days. Then a decline in temperature taking place at the end of the week. Into next weekend, we're heading closer to average. And it does actually, as we get through to the second week of March which is this period just here, it's a long way out, but the second week of March is actually going a bit colder than average, which is a very long time since we've seen that on these charts. Um, so, big drop in temperature on the way in around a week's time. We're not talking about anything dramatically cold, but it is going a little bit beneath the average for the first time in a long while. Uh, and also a lot more unsettled. That's the other big talking point, I think, in the next few days. So, loads of dry weather through the rest of February. That's the 1st of March of just there, by which time it's just after a bit more unsettled. But it's really from next weekend onwards that the precipitation spikes are coming back. They are large precipitation spikes, looking like we go from a very dry, extended dry period into something much, much wetter and a lot cooler as well. Right, so that's it for Ensembles Watch for this season. I say we're going to rest Ensembles Watch now and uh, we'll bring it back uh, for the winter of 2019-20. Uh, but for the time being, we'll put Ensembles Watch on the back burner. Don't forget to check out the final analogues update for the spring of uh, 2019 and also the Gazworthy's Sunday Roundup. Tomorrow we'll have your regular week to 10 day video update, so come back for that then. That's all for now though, and thanks for watching.